Hi, I'm Dr. Connie Casebolt. If you're watching this video, it's because you're a man who is now thinking about getting testosterone therapy. So although women go through menopause, men go through something called andropause. It just doesn't happen at the same age as women. So with men, it's a much more gradual, kind of an age-related decline in testosterone. And it can be so gradual that a lot of men don't even realize what's happening. They think that as they start to feel not as good as they felt when they were younger, it's just, I'm getting older. So signs and symptoms of low testosterone can range from gaining some belly fat, just feeling like you can't recover after a workout, you have more difficulty building muscle, you may have problems with libido or even some erectile dysfunction, um, and you just don't feel as good. Maybe even some brain fog. So you may be that man that come home, comes home from work and sits on the couch and falls asleep after supper instead of having the energy to get out and do things. Or your wife just may be complaining that you're not paying as much attention to her. Um, so the first step of course is to get your hormones tested and if your total testosterone is below 650 or if your free testosterone is below 7, that's definitely categorized as being low testosterone. So there is still some controversy in this field and a lot of conventional doctors don't pay too much attention to low testosterone, but here we recognize that having your hormones optimized is part of how we can help you achieve optimal health. So we actually have a consent that we have men sign when they're gonna get testosterone therapy. And I just wanna read part of this because uh, it's phrased better than I can just say it off the cuff. So during, the, during andropause, the risk of not receiving hormone testosterone therapy can outweigh the risks of replacing testosterone. Risks of not receiving testosterone after andropause include, but are not limited to, arteriosclerosis, elevation of cholesterol, obesity, loss of strength and stamina, accelerated aging, osteoporosis, mood disorder, depression, arthritis, loss of libido, erectile dysfunction, loss of skin tone, blood sugar irregularities, including diabetes, increased inflammation, dementia and Alzheimer's disease, and many other symptoms. So men, we actually know that men who have naturally higher testosterone levels live longer. So it is both a quality of life and a quantity of life to keep your testosterone at a healthy level. And contrary to popular myth, testosterone does not cause prostate cancer. So if, uh, if a man already has a prostate cancer, it could grow it faster but by itself, it does not cause prostate cancer. In fact, we have found that it's men with low testosterone, high estrogen, those are the men at higher risk of developing prostate cancer. So there's a ton of benefits to be gained and not too much downside to having your testosterone raised to a more therapeutic level. So we have many happy patients here um, that are men and their wives are happier too because they're getting testosterone replacement therapy. Now, how can we replace testosterone? Well, the method we do not like is the topical method. So the androgel or topical creams. Uh, they just don't seem to work very well and usually it's because absorption is the issue. Also, if you're using a topical, you can transfer it to family members. So you can put the cream here, then with these same fingers, touch a faucet in your house, uh, and then your wife touches the faucet, and then she might, uh, or your children, and then they are gonna have too much testosterone. So the combination of that transfer possibility, but also the fact that it doesn't absorb very well, it is our least favorite method, and we hardly ever use it. So the other two methods that work well are testosterone injections where either uh, the man administers it to himself or his partner. Uh, this can be inject injected into belly fat, anterior thigh, or if your partner will do it, back here in the buttocks. Uh, you can alternate sides. Typically, men can maintain therapeutic levels with once weekly. Every now and then, we'll go to every 10 days, sometimes every five days but in that range. So every five to 10 days, we can use a product called testosterone cypionate, um, which is bioidentical testosterone with what's called an ester side chain attached. 
So the cypionate is necessary to give it a half-life. If we just gave plain testosterone, you would have to inject twice a day because it just dissipates that fast. So that's one method. If injections don't appeal to you, we have a method that men just love and it's called our pellet therapy. So what are pellets? Testosterone pellets are pure bioidentical testosterone compressed into a pellet. We usually use between four and six of these. Uh, we place them in a quick, painless, sterile procedure where we make a little tiny incision in the upper outer quadrant of the buttocks. We put the pellets in the fat layer there, close the incision with steri strips, and then those pellets are gonna slowly dissolve and maintain therapeutic levels for anywhere from three to five months. At which point you start to feel that you're getting depleted, we check your blood, and if it's appropriate, we're gonna then put another set of pellets on the other side. So I have men who've been getting pellet therapy for 30 years, not from me because I've been doing it for 10 years, but other practitioners, then they heard that we were in town. Uh, so it's, it can be done in an indefinite time range. So if you are now um, interested in proceeding further, I look forward to chatting with you and together we can find the method that's gonna be right for you. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you soon.